Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. So today I have finally finished the square versus round seahorse diamond paintings that were sent to me by One Day Saving. So it's time to share the results with you. Now I know this one is the square because as you can see I've cut out a bit of the border which of course was where the key is because I'm keeping the square drills as uh, for the round ones I have since um, disposed of them and I should have kept them for this review. I realised that but I do things and then go oh damn I needed that but that's all right. Let's have a look but before I do which one do you you think turned out better leave a comment down below if you think it was the square or the round but were you right was the one you chose the one that came out better now looking at them both again square round looking at them both through the viewfinder on my camera they both look really good there is no issue with seeing what the image is at all but when you look at them with the naked eye the square one definitely lacks the detail that the round one has now there's a, definitely a number of reasons for this but before we go into that i should do a reminder that these are modern printed diamond painting kits so these aren't old kits that I've had sitting around for a while and when I say printed in the modern sense it's where they do the image then the drill filled over it so you're getting the image not pixelated and blocky like it used to be in the old days it's the actual image with all the proper curves and lines that the image itself has Looking at these two, you got two less colours in the square than you did with the round and they were very different colours. In fact, I don't think there were two colours that were the same. Just having a quick glance again, no, I think they were all different shadings. Definitely uh, lacked the necessary colours in this square one, which is really interesting because in the old days, they used to say that square gives you more detail than round. Now that still may be true if you go into bigger kits, but these were just standard 30 by 30s, which I thought was a good way to start because yeah, anything bigger, it's gonna take me like a year to finish them so these ones at least I finished in June but again 30 by 30 doesn't mean that's what size the canvas itself was so we'll have I mean sorry that does mean that's the size of the canvas not the image so looking at the round that came down to 24 by 24 and the square 23 I'd say by 23 so yeah the square is also a centimetre smaller so you're losing a lot of uh, the detail space in this square one which to me was um, an interesting find because like I said when I started diamond painting in 2020 everyone was all about squares gives you the detail but in this case square did not give you the added detail I think the round one looks so much better when it comes to the drills they were perfect there was no problems there were no trash drills at all on either kit and that's just a sign that nowadays that they manufacture drills really well and you don't have the issues that you used to have when I started diamond painting in 2020. So yeah this is just really a short and sweet video just to show you I finally did finish these two and what the results were. So yeah there's really an interesting shift that round seems to be more detailed these days than square but again that could be just relating to the fact that these are small diamond paintings at 30 by 30. That whole thing could change if you go into say a 40 by 50. If somebody else feels like doing that comparison at 40 by 40, 40 by 50 etc <laughs> please feel free. Uh, I won't be doing it because as I say I mostly do bite-sized ones these days but 
if I do a bigger one, I don't want to have to do it twice. I'll be real with you there. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, I hope you are interested in what the results were and if they surprised you as much as they did me uh, and that it seems definitely that square does not necessarily mean better anymore. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, hitting that thumbs up and the notification bell so you're up to date with when I release my latest video. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. There will be some changes coming to Patreon, so I'm not sure if they'll be ready for July or August at this stage, but there will be more bang for your buck, so to speak. So for my existing patrons, stick around. There's going to be a little bit more for you guys. And if you're interested in becoming a patron, now is a great time to join. Everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.